All right, this is 48 Conco. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I posted my last video. Um, recently just purchased the house, so I've been kind of busy with all the hat, and it's been just a real busy summer. Uh, but I did make a new gun acquisition. Uh, as you can see, it is a Glock. <clears throat> uh, I'll open this package up here. <clears throat> this is kind of a first impressions video, just of what I think about <clears throat> the gun itself, and uh, and just go from there. I'll probably do a more formal review uh, as I shoot it more. I have only put around 100 rounds to this gun at this point, so so far not a hiccup, uh, accurate, and I really can't complain about anything with it really. Um, but to start off here, I'll drop the magazine so that the chamber is clear. And uh, uh, Glock, they give you this nice little case. <clears throat> um, they give you a magazine loader, three magazines that hold ten rounds, and the gun, which this is a Glock 29 Gen 4 chambered in 10 millimeter auto. Uh, it's a rather compact uh, handgun. It is thick. Uh, it's 1.27 inches thick, so this is on the chunky side of the Glocks. A little husky. Uh, <clears throat> and it is 6.88 inches long. So it's obviously smaller than a Glock 20, uh, but you could definitely conceal this, and I think I might uh, eventually. But for now, I'm just going to shoot it and have fun with it, really. Um, but like I said, this is the Gen 4, uh, which means it has this aggressive uh, grip texture. And I did feel the Gen 3s when I was looking at getting a 10 millimeter Glock. And I just liked the way that this felt. Uh, I was used to my XDS a little bit there, and that was a rougher texture, and I definitely kind of like that. I mean, my hands have a little bit of oil from the gun on it, and it doesn't... You get a good grip on it. There's no no problems there. Uh, it does have a uh, bigger mag release too, which I did find that uh, very handy to just drop out the magazine. It's just right there. You don't have to find it or look for it anything. It's just perfect placement. Uh, for my hands anyways. I mean, maybe this is a little bit big for uh, some people with some smaller hands, but um, for me I got relatively large hands. It, it's comfy. <clears throat> Um, this has the uh, uh, modular frame system uh, by Glock, uh, and this is the shortest, so it's kind of like a short frame, but this works just absolutely perfect for me. Uh, the trigger pull, I believe, is a 5.5 pound trigger pull. Uh, it's a, <clears throat> I don't know, I like it a lot. Uh, I've come to get used to kind of a, it's real similar on the XDS, but this is my first Glock and I like it a lot really uh, I'll show you how to I know there's a lot of Glock videos here and uh, online and um, there we go. And I'm not gonna try to go too much into it because I'm sure it's been posted about probably thousands of times but this is just my perspective on it uh, it does have a double recoil spring which nice quality on that uh, and it does have a barrel that is uh, polygonal rifling, which you can see in there the cuts for it. Uh, and this barrel is 3.78 inches long. Uh, it's a nice barrel. Uh, I'm going to probably do some reloading, so I'll probably pick up a lone wolf for a KKM barrel down the line. Uh, because 10 millimeter ammo is not that easy to find. Uh, <clears throat> And I reload anyway, so why the hell not? But, oh. but and then the frame, it's just kind of your standard Glock frame. Uh, but it's pretty good build quality. I don't have any complaints about it in there. Um, I'll put it back together here. <clears throat> Uh, like I said, 
It's I'm going to primarily use this for uh, probably concealed carry in the future, or I might use it as a backup gun to take out with me when I go hunting. Uh, <clears throat> it is a chunky gun. It is heavy. Uh, this gun weighs 27 ounces, including the magazine, and with it loaded, it weighs 33 ounces, or 33.1 ounces, or .01 ounces. Uh, <clears throat> but the, you know, it's not too heavy. I definitely think you'd want this amount of uh, weight for shooting a 10 millimeter. Um, the sights, it's your standard Glock sights. I, I like it. It's very good for uh, target acquisition. Uh, I was doing pretty good with it. I'll probably, like I said, make a video down the road uh, with shooting and doing more of a formal review. Uh, <clears throat> but overall, I'm I'm digging the gun itself, and uh, yeah, the clock 29. All right, thanks for watching.